Commander Maro. The contents of this letter are of vital importance to the survival of the Empire and intended for your eyes only. As the Archmage of the College of Winterhold, I have made it my business to protect the province from all threats. I have eyes and ears in every corner of Skyrim and will do what must be done to protect the people, no matter the cost. Do not underestimate my resolve in this matter. I understand you have dealt a deadly blow to the Dark Brotherhood. I would like to be the first to congratulate you on a job well done and thank you for your efforts to make Skyrim a safer place. It has also come to my attention that you lost your only son in the process. I am so very sorry for your loss. It is your considerable dedication in the face of such tragedy that has compelled me to reach out to you. What I am about to tell you requires the utmost secrecy and involves a very real threat to the Emperor himself. While your attack on the Dark Brotherhood has crippled the vile organization, it has not eliminated the threat. The plot to assassinate Titus Mead originates from the highest levels of government, and I have reason to believe the threat is not over. I need your help to ensure that the Emperor survives the night and you are able to apprehend the cowards who set this plot in motion. We must work in concert to assure that the Emperor is safe and the weed of betrayal is pulled out by its roots. The origin of this plot begins with the Elder Council itself. Armand Motier is the leader of this dark group and the man responsible for calling upon the Dark Brotherhood. My spies tell me that he is still in Skyrim and that his plot to kill the Emperor is still very much alive. I have discovered that his plan was much more extensive than first believed. In the event the Dark Brotherhood was unsuccessful, Motier seeded the Emperor's ship with treacherous soldiers and sailors, leveraging the help of a Commander Rexus. Their orders are to seize the ship and kill the Emperor should the assassination fail. Your decisive handling of the assassins has all but ensured that this mutiny will be taking place. With the involvement of Rexus, we should all be wary of who we trust within the ranks until this is resolved. Clearly, we will need to keep this quiet to ensure our success. Unfortunately, there is no way for you or your men to know who aboard the Cataraya can be trusted. That is where the Mage College can help. Even now, I am on my way to Solitude to help safeguard the ship. Surely a man of your station and accomplishments is able to get a message to the Emperor. Please, let him know of the plot and that no one is to be trusted. Tell him to keep his doors locked and that I am on my way. Once you have delivered this message, gather a contingent of men you can trust and ride with all haste to Whiterun. You will find a Montmotier hiding in the Bannered Mare. I will do all I can to protect the Emperor in the event of a mutiny, but once they strike, word of the attack will spread quickly and Amand will surely run. You must move quickly. Long live the Empire. The Honorable Marlevor Keenlit, Archmage of Winter.
Your Eminence, it is Lieutenant Selvaris. Stay in your room with the doors locked. Morrow was right. The ship is under attack.
Hello, Marl. Hello, my friend. The Emperor awaits your visit. He doth, doth he? So, how did it go? Many mortals were unmade to arrange this meeting. Yes, I see that. This is unfortunate, but I assume there was no other way. There was not. The fate of mankind rests upon you now, Marlivore. You must convince the Emperor of the importance of your research. For Skyrim and for those who have been unmade to make this moment possible. Reason must prevail. If it doth not, mortal kind is doomed, and I shall be executed or worth. At this moment, you are the most important person in Tamriel. You are the only one who understands the full extent of the threat. You are the only one who might find a way to stop the poison bloom. Your life is more important than that of the Emperor. What are you saying? We have taken steps to protect you, but should you be threatened, we will unmake the Emperor without hesitation. Steps. What steps have you taken? These men all killed each other in a failed attempt at mutiny. Assassins disguised as crew attempted to kill the Emperor. If not for the valiant efforts of Lieutenant Selvaris and a group of his loyal men, the Emperor would surely have been killed. The Lieutenant is a hero. This is astonishing. Yes, it is. Commander Morrow uncovered the plot thanks to intelligence from the Archmage of Winterhold. Even now, he races to Whiterun to apprehend treacherous members of the Elder Council. Thanks to your warning, the Emperor has been spared, and his assassins have been captured. You too are a hero. What? How did you do all of this? I did nothing. The Archmage of Winterhold has many resources and spies across Skyrim. Nothing escapes his gaze or his considerable influence. The Archmage of Winterhold is wise, generous, selfless, and above all, loyal to the Empire. The Archmage's seal lends considerable weight to his correspondence. Nethrin, did you forge a letter from the Archmage? Yes. There is no one who knows you better than I. There is no one who understands your voice better than I. The letter was horse feathers, but you must embrace the story. Astonishing. Why did you do all of this? That is a silly question, Marlevor. I did it to protect you because you must fight on. I did it because I care about you, and I do not wish for you to be unmade. Very well. I believe I understand the narrative now. I should go talk to the Emperor. Here, you will need this key. He is waiting for you and understands that you are coming to protect him while he remains in Skyrim. God, Nethrin! I expected a tenth conversation, but you have set me up to not only be his savior, but his chaperone. 
protector, advisor, confidant. The emperor has few he can trust. Make him your friend. Do not waste this opportunity. You can be sure I will not. It is time to take my turn for the Dragonborn Covenant. Even now, Eitastog journeys to meet Alduin himself. My job seems easy in comparison. Alduin has been unmade. What? Gods! He did it! The crazy barbarian actually did it! Yes. How is he? Do you know? He is no more. No. He's dead? No. Wait, he, he's alive? I don't understand. He is not alive. He is not dead. He is simply gone. He is out of reach. I am unable to see him. God. Yes, two of them. What? He has defeated two gods. Indeed he has. It is incredible. He has helped to secure that safety. The safety of the province from dragons and Hermaeus Mora. What of Mirak? He is alive, but much diminished. He is no longer able to harvest the souls of dragons. This was taken from him by Eitastag. The eyes of the woodland men now turn to Mirak alone, and they are filled with vengeance. Thank you, Nethrin. The world owes you a great debt. The world owes me nothing. I serve the pattern. Surely there must be something I can do. There is humanity inside you, Nethrin. I know it. I have seen it. I require nothing. Go speak to the Emperor. Do what you do best. Make peace in the world. Help me untangle the knots in the pattern. That is enough. Very well, friend. Thank you. Truly. You are most welcome. <laughs>